In the previous video, we looked at how to install NA10 locally on our own computer. So if you missed that video, please watch that video and come back to this video so that you can follow along with me in our first automation. Or if you don't want to follow with me, just you can watch this video and you can try again later. Okay, today what we'll do is, um, let's say we have a hotel and people will come to our website and they will fill a form with their name, email, phone number and room type like the room they need. Uh, and once after filling the form and after they click on submit, what we'll do is we'll pull the data of the guest or of the customer from the uh, from that form and we'll update to our database. So that's what we'll do in our first automation. This is not a complex automation. Uh, I'm not going to include any uh, LLM, AI agents or nothing like that. Just a simple automation. As soon as the people come and fill the form and submit, then we'll pull the details from the form and update the database. That's what we'll do in our first automation. Let's call it as customer database. Now let's go to our NA10 canvas. Okay, now we are in NA10. Let's create a new workflow and let's name it as customer database and click on save. Let's add our first step. NA10 um, has a built-in Sub, uh, form submission a node so we don't have to do anything uh, extra here so an 10 has a built-in on form submission node so let's click on that now in the form submission we are uh, seeing test url and the production url test url is nothing but we can use it in our own computer if you uh, go to production url so we can share this production url to anyone and who has access to this link they can um, fill the fill our form and they can submit our form that's the difference between these two and here in authentication we don't have to do anything and let's keep our form title as room booking and the description we can keep it as book your room now let's add elements uh, the first field will be the name and the element type will be the text and the placeholder will be enter your name let's mark it as required field as it is a required field and add one more let's add one more element and let's mark it as email and as this is an email we have to change the element type to email in the placeholder let's say enter your email let's mark it as required field and now let's add one more element and we'll so phone number. Let's do the placeholder, enter your number. Let's mark it as required field. And one more element will be the room type. Select your, let's say it as room. In the placeholder, let's uh, select your room and mark it as required field. Now the element type here, it will be a drop down list because we'll give two or three options. Let's say single room, add one more field, double bed, or oh, let's mark it as double, single bed. And we'll add one more option and um, do it as suite. So here we don't want to give them a multiple choice. So that's all about our form. Let's click on execute and now our form is ready. As you can see, room booking, book your room. Let's enter our details. Okay, example.com. Phone number will be something like this. And let's select single bed. Now the form is submitted. As you can see, our details are in the output section so we got our name email phone number room and also the submitted at the time and everything so this is all about the first node now to save it to our database 
we'll use a table okay let me tell you about a table so a table is nothing but a relational database which has a spreadsheet like interface we can also pull the data from the form and we can update it to the google sheets but in an a10 most of the cases we'll use a table uh, because it's more powerful relational database system so today we are going to use the a table let's click on class and search for a table and here we have to create a record as we are updating our database so we have to click on create a record so first we have to um, create a new credential in this case i already have one but i'll show you how to create a new credential let's click on new creating uh, new credentials so here we have to get the access token from a table account so first we have to click on this open docs so for any a credential for, for any credentials uh, an agent has a nice documentation to create how to uh, get the apis how to create credentials not only this node for any node if we need a credential then we can use this n8 and docs um, and if you follow the steps then you will be good to go so now let's go click let's go to our a table so in a table you have to create an account just sign up with your email um, it's pretty straightforward in my case i'll just sign in so um, after signing up then you will see something like this the interface will be like this and um, i already have some bases here but you will have mostly the empty one so to create a credential first we have to go to our profile click on the builder hub go to personal access tokens and here i already have one token but now let's create a new token let's say it as n8 nyt and add a scope so these scopes are n8 and already mentioned what to add in the scopes so we have to add all these three scopes basically you can add all the scopes if you want to but we have to add those three scopes for sure okay now just after adding all the scopes just create token copy the token go to n8 and and paste it over here and click on save and now it says connection tested successfully so as soon as you see something green then you are good to go okay now what we have to do is we have to create a base i already have one but i'll uh, create a new one let's create a new workspace n8 and yt again let's create let's start from scratch so this is the database so we have to match all the uh, fields which are there in the form um, these are space sensitive and case sensitive you have to make sure that everything is matching 100% our previous form was already here so we have to add a column for row name email phone number and row first let's name this as customer data is the first one is name so it's good and second one is second column will be email save let's add a new one okay phone number phone number let's click on so this is a we can keep it as phone number or we can keep it as text but in this case it's phone number so let's go with phone number and let's create field and one more field is room let's field type will be text and field name will be room so i think we are good a name email phone number and room we are we matched everything so our database is ready let's delete all these columns first i deleted all the existing empty rows so our database is ready now let's go to n810 we already created the credential the resource will be record and the operation will be create as we are creating the rows over there let's click on this okay here it's supposed to show our customer database but it's not showing for some reason let's go to 
a table and go to our profile let's go to n8 and yt oh okay now here we have to add our base we forgot to add our base here so let's add our customer database and save changes i think now we are good yes now we are good from the list and the table one this should be create and now all the fields are mapped automatically now we have to just drag this uh, we have to map all the fields from our form so that once after this then we don't need to update every time once we submit a new form it automatically populates the new incoming data so that we have to drag all this data in these fields and now our database is ready so if we click on execute step as you can see our all the details from the form has been updated to the database as you can see it's already let's try again with one more execution mm, let's say sam sam at the rate gmail.com number and i'll say it's sweet let's submit as you can see our workflow is executed successfully let's go to our database and as you can see it has been updated okay that's all about our first automation i know this is a simple automation as we are starting with our first one i just wanted it to be simple in the future automations we can increase our difficulty and we can build much more cool automations including ai agents and stuff so if you like this video like and share it with your friends and if you don't want to miss our future videos subscribe to our channel i'll see you in the next one bye